that even in the month of Ramadan, when the shayateen, what happens to them? They're chained. They've done such a redecoration inside of you that you're operating as though he's still there. He's, he's autopilot. Shaitan's not there, but you're doing his work anyway. Because they're shayateen al-insi wal jinn. You ever wonder why Allah says they're shayateen, they're devils of the human beings and the jinn? There are devil, devils that are jinn, obviously. But how can devils be human? You know the human beings who let shaitan inside and let him stay for a long time? They become them. They convert. They just become shayateen. Subhanallah. Allah says about these munafiqoon that they have a serious disease inside of their hearts. And their disease, by the way, that disease isn't just doubt. That disease was also cowardice. They were cowards. They weren't willing to stand up for this religion. And I told you, their hypocrites cannot be compared to our time. But we have a similar problem. Not the same problem, but certainly a similar problem. There are going to be three reactions to Islam even today. There are going to be people who say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they will take pride in it. And they will see it, their honor that they're Muslim. And no matter what, nothing is above Allah's word. Nothing is above the words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The obedience to them is supreme. That guidance is beyond criticism. And they believe that in their heart of hearts. Even when they make mistakes, they know the mistakes are theirs. They can be flawed, they can be mistaken. The deen of Allah is not mistaken. The deen of Allah has no problems. The deen of Allah has no criticism. On the other extreme, you will get people who absolutely hate Islam and the Muslims. You're gonna get those people. They're going to be on the other extreme. And guess what you're going to get in between? We should have a little bit of compromise. We should, I mean, we don't have to be that, I mean, stern in our belief in the Quran. I mean, we could take things lightly a little bit. After all, it is 2016. We have to just, you know, go, go with the times a little bit. That reaction of let's just kind of work both out a little bit. Because, you know, if you really truly believe, you might become too extreme. So we have to balance both sides. That's actually a byproduct of that original hypocrisy that used to exist back then. Our deen, by definition, is already balanced. Thank you very much. You don't have to come in and offer it your version of balance. It's already got the best of this world and the next balanced for us by Allah Himself. So when you come along and I come along and say, you know what, let's balance, let's have a balanced approach to Islam. Uh, is there some new balance that you just came up with? Or is it your own cowardice, your fear? You don't want people to look at you funny. You're too afraid of them. You want to look good in, in terms of PR. You just want to you know, you know, suck up to the people around you. And your, your own low self-esteem is now being imposed onto Islam, to this religion. That will happen now too. So as we study this, we have to actually kind of look in the mirror too. About you know, what kind of mentality towards this religion we carry.